you know, truth matters. Truth is important. Uh, we have misinformation today. We had misinformation back in 1944. And that's why I think it's so important for social studies teachers uh, because you all are educating civically engaged young people to be the next generation of people who will question, who will investigate, who will care about the truth and will want to know what the truth is. I will just say for myself, I would say my 10th uh, grade social studies teacher is perhaps the person who influenced my career the most because I think my parents probably frankly would have preferred I had just gone to the private sector, uh, but she was the one that got me involved in working and volunteering on political campaigns, got me involved in, um, in, in much more sort of current events and which ultimately led to some of my interests and some of my employment um, as a lawyer. Um, so I, my one last question is, uh, Judge Ko, what advice do you want to give to our new naturalized citizens and, and what does it mean to be an American? My first piece of advice is that democracy is not a spectator sport. It depends on every single one of us in this room engaging fully. So you have to vote, become involved in your community, teach your parents, siblings, spouses, kids, members of your community about democracy, equality, the rule of law, pay your taxes, share your story with people who've never met someone from your country, uh, serve in the military or the government. My husband was born in Mexico, he's a naturalized US citizen, and yet he interprets the laws of this state on the state's highest court. Um, run for office, volunteer or contribute to someone else's campaign for office, encourage your family and friends to fully engage with our democracy, speak up, speak out, write a letter to your newspaper editor, your opinion matters, you matter. Um, I, when, another thing I wanted to put in a plug for is jury service. Um, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so when you do your jury duty, you're actually fulfilling the promises of our Constitution. And it's actually a privilege. People don't understand how much of it's, it is a privilege. You know, uh, for the longest time in this country, women could not serve on juries. African Americans could not serve on juries. Uh, their opinion was not valued. It actually is a true privilege. And in many countries that have authoritarian governments, for example, criminal prosecution is a used as a way to control political dissidents or, and the fact that in our country we allow just ordinary members of our community to make the decision of who is guilty or not, that is a tremendous, tremendous power. So I hope people take that responsibility seriously. When I was in kindergarten, uh, we sang, this land is your land. I think every kindergarten sings that song. And for, for those who may not be familiar with it as, as, as much as of uh, some of us. It's, it, it's basically is this land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. So when I was in um, kindergarten, I think this was actually in Maryland, not in Mississippi, we, we had to stand on bleachers to sing that song during our music class, and the boy turned to me and said, this isn't your land, this is not gonna be your land, stop singing the song. And I actually stopped singing the song. I made that huge mistake. So my message to our new citizens is you never stop singing. <laughs>